Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to download and install an awesome program called OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a very regular popular program that we hear out there. It's pretty much used a lot for like Twitch and for streaming like that. So we're pretty much going to be showing you how to download and install it here on Windows 11. Also, on the end of the video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how you can also get some exclusive discounted um, like Windows keys or like Microsoft Office and other programs and stuff for pretty cheap. Very cheap. I can tell you it's less than $15 or less, it will be pretty much on the end of the video, or also you can look at the descriptions and you can pretty much find out how you can get it too. But for the rest, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty simple, you just need to open up a browser, you can choose any browser. Right now, currently, I'm just pretty much going to use the Microsoft Edge. If you don't like it, you can choose a different one, it doesn't really matter. And all we have to do is type in, and I love when this new browser just pops up with that stuff, just X that out. All we have to do is type in obsproject.com, and it'll pretty much take us to their site. As you do notice, it pretty much does support from like um, Microsoft OS, Microsoft, um, Mac OS, and there's you no know, Windows, Microsoft itself, and there's Linux. Mac OS is a very popular, I would actually was shocked when that came out. But regardless, we're going to choose this because technically this is a Windows 11. So, of course, we're going to be showing you how to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and choose the Windows right there. And then pretty much it takes us straight directly to their site on the right corner. Depending if you have like Chrome or something, it might be on the bottom. And it's pretty much doing the process. If it doesn't want to download, you can probably click it. And pretty much from that point, let's finish downloading real quick, you should be able to click it and start it. So, it is open up the file. Now, if it does come to a point, you probably need to find the location where it pretty much was stored at. It was in downloads. You might need to go to your downloads and click it from there. But regardless, you'll pretty much get the program has been downloaded. From that point, after using it, you can pretty much click it and you'll probably be prompted like this. Go ahead and press yes. I'm going to go ahead and X out the downloads and also the browser because I don't really need that anymore. From this point, it pretty much tells you pretty much welcome to the OBS Studio. And technically, OBS Studio is their own system. It's not related with um, Streamlabs or something like that. They kind of created their own system. It's kind of like a stolen. This is actually the regular original one that's free open source. So please, this is actually the good one out here. So what you're going to do is go ahead and press and continue. Press next. And it's going to tell you pretty much about the terms and you know how everything works with licensing and stuff like that. We're pretty much going to press next. It tells you where you want to do your destination folder. By default, this is just a generic. If you know what you're doing on other stuff that are text and stuff with different drive, um, drives, um, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. So you can go ahead and do that too. It's up to you by choosing where you want it. I'm going to leave it as is by default and press install. And if you want, you can show the details and show all the little files that are being everything. It's up to you. Right, so pretty much it's done extraction and stuff, and I'll pretty much put the files. It tells us that you can read the release notes if you want to, or you can just launch the program. Pretty much, we are pretty much done on this. Um, depending what type of operating system you might try to restart, if it is, just restart it and pretty much open up the program. From this point, I press finish and launched it, and we'll see if OBS Studio does come up. And here it is. Now, from this point, it tells us the process if you want to optimize your streaming and recording and secondary and stuff like this, you can do all this process if you want to. This concept right here which is pretty much just showing you how to set this up. Most of the time I usually just press cancel and then you start customizing and features like that. And has lots of good features and there are so many people out here that's actually made that and how to set up the best settings for your um, pretty much on the videos and stuff like that, your quality. So actually I'll probably give some links below and it would help you out. But pretty much from this point right here I pretty much showed you how to download and install OBS here on Windows. And one of my favorite things here is our studio mode. I love to use this mode so you can do whatever you want to layout. And your second one, and you'll pretty much go to transition and all process over. You actually need to go into some details and stuff how to do this, but once you understand how to do this and set up the stuff and how to pretty much go into settings and set up your streaming and stuff like that, um, it gets pretty cool for it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, 
And then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to checkout. And you can use our discount code called Helpton's Computer Repair and press apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.